Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From BBC under the main headline of Spring Statement. Rishi Sunak seeks to combat cost of living squeeze. Summary of headline article. She also said she was taking on extra cleaning and delivery jobs. And had cut her grocery shop down to £15 a week for her and her two children. And she often went. Without. From Mail Online under the main headline of Cornered Putin. Will abandon plans to seize vast swathes. Of Ukraine. Summary of headline article. On Tuesday the Pentagon had estimated that Russian forces were around 20 kilometers from the center of the capital. Even so, Ukraine's resistance, backed by millions in Western military aid, has been unexpectedly fierce. Russian forces also remain blocked six miles from the center of Chernihiv, northeast of Kiev, according to Pentagon estimates. Still. Russia's far stronger, bigger military has many Western military experts warning against overconfidence in Ukraine's long-term odds. Zelensky accused Russian forces of seizing a humanitarian convoy. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Zelensky expects meaningful steps at NATO, EU and G7 summits. Russia likely to mobilize conscripts. Says UK. Live. Summary of headline article. 219 The ruble has recovered more ground against the US dollar on Thursday in the wake of Vladimir Putin's decision to make unfriendly countries pay for Russian gas in the country's currency. It rose 1.5% to 96.7 to the dollar in early trade on Thursday after closing up 6% at 97.7375 per dollar on Wednesday. A protest in Brussels this week calling on EU leaders to ban imports of Russian gas. Nearly all Russian gas purchases are made in euros and dollars by the way. Russia supplies 40% of the EU's collective gas needs. 27% of its oil imports and 46% of coal imports. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of William expresses profound sorrow over slavery but stops short of apology. Summary of headline article. Future King William who together with wife Kate is on an eight-day tour of the region this week, addressed dignitaries in Jamaica, saying, Slavery was abhorrent. Image. P.A. P.A. Image. P.A. P.A. Their experiences are a reminder of the terrifying toll and inequality of war and conflicts across the world, which we must never forget. Image. P.A. P.A. Image. P.A. P.A. And it should never have happened. In 2018 during a visit to Ghana Prince Charles said the atrocities had left an indelible stain on the world. Image. P.A. P.A. He added. While the pain runs deep. Jamaica continues to forge its future with determination. Courage and fortitude. He said. Catherine and I are very pleased to be here on our first official visit to Jamaica. From The Guardian under the main headline of Madeleine Albright. First female U.S. Secretary of State. Dies aged 84. Summary of headline article. Madeleine Albright. Who came to the U.S. as a refugee and made history as the first woman to be Secretary of State. Has died. A family statement read, We are heartbroken to announce that Dr. Madeleine Albright, the 64th U.S. Secretary of State, passed away earlier today, after the election of Clinton in 1992. Albright was first ambassador to the United Nations, then Secretary of State. Albright became Secretary of State in 1997.
then the highest ranking woman in the history of U.S. government. The State Department spokesperson, Ned Price, said, The impact that Secretary Albright had on this building is felt every single day in just about every single corridor. From The Guardian under the main headline of The Forgotten Millions. How the papers covered Rishi Sunak's spring statement. Summary of headline article. Rishi Sunak's attempt to cast himself as a tax-cutting chancellor despite Britain facing the biggest drop in living standards since the 1950s is met with scorn on the front of many of Thursday's papers. Sunak Bank's windfall for pre-election tax cut is cost of living crisis hits home, its splash says. Inside it lists 13 cost of living blows that Sunak has not addressed. From energy bills to mortgage rates. The Times has a similar headline with biggest fall in living standards since 1950s. While the I says much the same. Biggest hit to living standards since age of rationing. The Herald in Scotland has a more upbeat line however. Reporting, Sunak pledges tax break to 2 million Scots workers. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Russian Navy ship destroyed in fire and smoke near besieged Ukraine city. Summary of headline article. They showed a Russian ship. Believed to be the alligator class Orsk. Ablaze with flames visible on the deck of the vessel. Image. Twitter. Twitter. The Ukrainian Navy has claimed the vessel was the landing ship Orsk. They wrote on Facebook in a brief post. A large paratroop ship Orsk of the Black Sea Fleet of Occupiers was destroyed in the occupied Russian port Berdyansk. Image. Twitter. Twitter. Image. Twitter. Twitter. Commenting on the post. One person wrote. They even cheered me up with their message. Port city Berdyansk. In the southeast Ukraine is home to 100,000 people. And has been under Russian rule since February 27. From Mail Online under the main headline of P and O Row. PM. Overstepped the mark with claim operator broke the law. Summary of headline article. Advertisement Boris Johnson may have overstepped the mark when he claimed that P&O ferries broke UK labour laws by sensationally firing 800 seamen without notice via a Zoom video call. Mr Kwarteng had threatened P&O ferries with unlimited fines. Warning Mr Hebblethwaite that clear rules include notifying in advance. The Secretary of State. This would have meant the loss of 3,000 jobs and the end of P&O Ferries. P&O Ferries was updating guidance over Twitter every half an hour yesterday. It comes as the government threatened to criminally prosecute and impose unlimited fines on P&O Ferries if the disgraced operator is found to have broken labor laws. From Metro under the main headline of Russia. We have right to press nuclear button. Summary of headline article. Russia is ramping up its nuclear threats. Picture. Getty. Reuters. A top Russian diplomat said Moscow retains the right to use nuclear weapons if it is provoked by NATO. I don't think it's the right thing to be saying. But it's not the right thing to threaten Russia. And to try to interfere. And how this collision will end is probably not worth explaining. This is called World War III. And on Kremlin-controlled Channel 1. Military expert Col. Yuri Nuttoff. Echoed the same line. The West fears sparking a wider war in Europe that Russian's foreign minister has previously warned. Would turn nuclear and destructive. From Evening Standard under the main headline of dozens of Ukrainian orphans clap and cheer as they arrive in the UK. Summary of headline article. Dozens of Ukrainian orphans have clapped and cheered as their plane touched down in London. 
the group left Warsaw in Poland on Wednesday afternoon on a Virgin Atlantic flight after they were evacuated from Ukraine more than a week ago. Russia-Ukraine crisis. Ukrainian orphans clap and cheer as they arrive in the UK 114th Russia-Ukraine crisis. Ukrainian orphans clap and cheer as they arrive in the UK Evening Standard Paul Brown Paul Brown Paul Brown Daniel Berger Daniel Berger Daniel Berger app 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 you Paul Brown and I was saying it's London it's London and they were just looking completely amazed because of course they've never flown before and it really did look like jewels in the night we commend our partners MDA UK and Save a Child. For the incredible work they've undertaken in bringing these children to safety. Permission for the group to fly was granted by the Ukrainian and Polish governments. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.